golly. It's a mean little fart. Go say hi. Shake hands. I don't know. Do what turkeys do. Well, what's up, guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, and uh, today's video is sponsored by Good Chop. I'll explain more about that in just a little bit. But, you guys, I just got home from the gym, got cleaned up. I stopped by the merchandise facility, and, uh, you know, we were looking at, we're doing the rough end plumbing. You guys have been requesting, like, asking why we haven't shown any updates on the merchandise facility. And it's just a slow process. Like, it's a slow process because it's hurry up and wait. We did all the work, got everything done. The the builders got everything ready. And they got the, you know, the the uh, the dirt work done for the pad and all that stuff quick. And then we had to wait on the plumber. Well, the plumber's there today. And uh, it took about two weeks because he had to work around the weather and jobs and stuff. And so as soon as the rough and plumbing's complete, then concrete should be done in a week or so have to wait a couple weeks um and then they'll start on framing up the building so i'll, I'll show you guys something from there but i just kind of it kind of dawned on me this morning when we stopped by there on the way home from the gym uh we, we've become a a weird bird farm lately what you doing izzy hmm looking for your kittens you don't need in the house you guys <laughs> have seen like we got the baby emu we got charlie and houston's extra muscovy duck and the turkey that he hatched out then we got our discount turkeys we got 10 for the price of two old, old uh, lover boy larry and his girlfriend linda and all the babies and you know we hatched out three big geese they're giant and uh we kind of become a bird farm of sorts <laughs> but i didn't expect to be a buzzard farmer we stopped by the merchandise facility. Had it, had that buzzard in the barn sitting on a nest over there. <laughs> Check this out. Everyone's been asking about an update on the merch property. And there hasn't been anything to update you guys on because we haven't actually got anything done since they built the pad. Well, today, the plumbers are finally here. It's taking about two weeks because of the weather, off and on rains and stuff. But the first thing I'm going to do is walk over here to the barn and see if our buzzard friend hatched her babies out. She was sitting on two eggs. We'll see if she hatched them. Still here, madam? Oh, there she goes. You got any babies yet? I see one. There is a baby. Only one little one. I wonder where the other one went. Or if the egg was bad. Look. I don't think I've ever... Well, I know I've never seen a baby buzzard like that. Vulture. Turkey buzzard. Whatever you want to call it. You need some light. He's an angry little baby. Are you an ugly little bird? Hmm? Oh, golly! It's a mean little fart. Okay. I heard you yelling. What? You want to see the ugliest little creature you ever seen? Is the mama in there and going to no? attack me? Nope, just the baby. The baby going to attack me? Is this how you went in? I don't know if the baby's going to attack you or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody wanted a merch property update, so there's the merch property. Now let's look at the cool stuff. Yeah. Not a lot going on at the merch place. Where's it at? Over in the corner. He's not friendly. I can't see. It's behind the door in the corner. You got to get to the left. God, it smells like cat pee. No, it smells like buzzard poop. Oh, that's it. Oh. It's creepy looking, isn't it? Yeah. He's growling. Yeah. Wow. He don't like to play games either. No. He will he like. He playing no games. He will lunge out there at you. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. 
Did it's, I miss that? Did you get on video? Um, you know, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Well, there you go. <laughs> we have a new bird. We are quite the bird farmers lately. You know, we did acquire the turkeys. We got 10 for the price of two. Right? Yeah. We bought two and got 10. We got a baby emu. Who has a baby buzzard? We don't technically have one. He is living in our barn. <laughs> he was born on our property, hatched out. Not born, technically, I guess. He hatched out on our property. He's our buzzard. We're just really not supposed to touch him. I think, I don't think you're supposed to mess with buzzards. As much as the, I don't like well, them, they do a good service. I mean, common sense says don't mess with buzzards. Yeah. Do you have some of that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Let's go look at the plumbing. It's nothing exciting. Don't step in the hole. It's exciting stuff. Rough in plumbing is super exciting. So I don't recommend messing with a baby buzzard. Yeah. They're mean. <laughs> so basically kitchen in that corner. Then on the outside of this wall, we'll have a uh, washer dryer, hot water heater, and a little bathroom. Not much to see right now. Plumbing go out the back, septic, lateral lines, you know, typical stuff. As I mentioned earlier, today's video is sponsored by Good Chop. Now, personally, we process a lot of our own beef. You know, right now we're waiting on a beef to come back from the processor, but not everybody has that ability. Not everybody has the, the place to raise their own meat. And me personally, you know, I don't exactly live next to the coast. I don't have a great place to catch fresh seafood. That's where Good Chop comes in. With Good Chop, there's something for everyone. You can choose from 50 plus high quality cuts, such as 100% grass-fed ribeyes, flavorful, flavorful T-bones, wild-caught salmon, free-range and organic chicken breast, pork tenderloin, 100% grass-fed filet mignon, thick-cut bacon, because everybody loves bacon. Good Chop sources its meat and seafood exclusively from U.S. farms and fisheries. By choosing Good Chop, you support a local family farm and independent ranchers right in your own neighborhoods or just outside of the town. And with Good Chop, you're gonna get a 100% money back guarantee. Good Chop sources only the good stuff, which is why they feel confident that 100% money back guarantee pretty much isn't gonna get used because you're gonna love it. It's too bad I'm the only one home today because salmon is on the menu. Mm. Fresh, wild caught, That's good stuff. If you enjoy good food like I do, I would highly recommend going to goodchop.com slash YouTube and you can use code AFH120. You get $120 off your first four boxes. That's goodchop.com slash YouTube and use code AFH120. What's up, girls? Everybody's staying in the, the hot wire pasture just fine. We have not had another single escapee or an issue since the day we put it up not even from her and i don't know where all the donkey poodles are oh no they're not out the alpacas are all all down there laying down you guys enjoying the weather been getting a little rain hmm oh you're not enjoying the weather freedom okay i don't believe you it's nice out here look at phoebe just relaxing today. Oh, that's not Phoebe. That's Fallon. Phoebe's up here. I thought Phoebe was laying down back there. Well, you guys uh, head off into the tall grass and graze. I don't know why you're wanting to just graze right here where we've mowed. Is that better tasting grass? So the donkeys are good. The buzzard baby literally looks like, like a mix between a bird and a bear. It's like a bear with a beak. That thing... It's craziest looking little thing and i don't know where the other egg went but apparently only one hatched out or something got the other one i don't don't really know don't really care but i guess she's raising a baby in that old barn merchandise facility the property over there rough end plumbing coming along hopefully get concrete done really soon but aside from that back to that whole crazy bird topic you guys know 
our gray goose has gone broody on us in the barn. Well, we'll just go check on her. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Just follow me. Pepper! What you doing? Can I come on in there for a minute? What's up, buddy? How's bear today? Excuse me, Pepper. It's not supper time yet. I feel like just a few days ago, I showed you guys this pasture that we seeded. And, uh, you know, we got that new wood seeder behind the tractor, behind the TYM tractor, and uh, planted all this. And when I showed you just a couple days ago, the sprouts were like this tall, you know, and you could barely see them. But you can definitely see perfect lines where the cedar went through here and dropped everything, dropped all the seeds and everything. But look how much it's growing. Look how fast all of this is growing. The whole pasture looks tremendously different than it did just a few weeks ago. This was almost just bare dirt. That's not the only thing I came in here to show you. The other morning I came outside just to kind of check on everybody and everything. And I had cleaned out this... Uh, this barn area, I don't know, a week or so ago, and just kind of piled all that old nasty hay and manure and stuff there. And there's a duck sitting. Well, you can see her nest right there. And she's broody. <laughs> and I'm afraid Pepper's gonna eat all of her eggs. I don't really necessarily need a whole bunch of more ducks. And I'm not really sure, you know, they're just gonna be mixed breed ducks. So we don't, she was sitting on the nest. She has been sitting on the nest. I guess she just got off just just to go uh, take care of her duties. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There was 13 eggs there yesterday. So I had an idea. That duck probably isn't going to be able to uh, set on those eggs because Pepper's in this pasture, and Pepper, well, loves to eat eggs. So why not take a few and put them under that broody gray goose it's so temperamental and just hates everybody right now. Now, I'm not going to take all of her eggs because I'm sure she'll be back here, but I, I'm not even really positive that they're fertile. They should be. I mean, we've got plenty of ducks, so we should have somebody be able to, uh, I don't know if I want to put those in there. We should be have, you know, a male duck that could fertilize the eggs. We're going to go for it. Oh, well. We're going to take... Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe maybe eight eggs and put under our goose and see if she'll set on them. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah. And that leaves three there. We'll see what she does. I'll check back later and see if she's going to come back and actually be setting on these or if she's still just laying and piling up a hoard of eggs. Hey, Pepper. Um... I stole some eggs. I'm sure you've been snacking on them, haven't you? Mm-hmm. I know how you are. All right, you angry goose. Oh, by the way, they're all doing well still. The uh, <clears throat> the baby turkeys are all still alive. We still have seven. None have escaped. Our uh, pin system is keeping them in. And our friend Larry has yet to lay his feathers down. He's been in full strut since he got here. We'll probably let him out. Let him, you know, at least have that that open pen right there. I may do that in a little while. Instead of letting him out all the way, just let him out into that open pen so he can get some sunshine. Anyways, back to you, Madam Angry Goose. Hey, I got an idea. <coughs> hey, don't attack. <coughs> I see a goose egg on <coughs> you, and it's not fertile. You don't have... <coughs> A man brain to fertilize your eggs. Okay? Um, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take what's under you, and I'm going to give you these duck eggs to sit on. You think we can do that? Hmm? You are angry. Why are you so angry? Huh? All right. Hey, now. Hey, now. Easy, goose. Ouch, 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 ouch. Hey, that hurt. Okay, look. I'm going to set this one down. Look. Look at all these eggs. Hey, easy. You, you just broke two. 
Goose, you already broke two duck eggs. Knock it off. Quit eating them. That's my hat. Gross. Goose. Dang it. You're ruining my plan, Goose. Don't be so hypeful. I'm going to sneak these under you, okay? Ouch! Ouch! Stop biting. Don't break the eggs. Don't break the eggs, okay? Here we go. Ouch! Don't bite! You hateful hussy. All right, Goose. Since she broke those other two, I went and grabbed a couple more eggs from a different nest. Hey, listen, I'm trying to help you out. So these should be a different breed of duck. These are all duck eggs. Listen, be nice, Goose. Be nice. Hey, don't be breaking eggs. Ouch! Ouch! Stop. All right. You've got it. Set on them. Be a good mom. Okay, looky there. Looky there. You got eggs to set on. Does that make you feel like a real mom? Listen, your eggs aren't fertile. Okay, this one is going in the house. I'm going to eat it. But you got fertile duck eggs. Now, can you settle down? You picked the worst place in the world to be broody. And I totally forgot. I said I was going to let Larry out into his smaller pen. Not not out, out, but out to where he can at least get out into his other pen. Um, I kind of forgot I was going to do that a couple hours ago. But we'll do that real quick. Check on the goose and her new egg adventure. Goose? Did you eat the eggs? Did you destroy the eggs? We'll have to, we'll have to take, take another bite and see. Oh. Goose. Let me zoom out here. All right, here, get a hold of me. Oh, gosh, you bite hard. The eggs all look good, though. All right, they're all yours. Larry, buddy. Let's open your back gate and see if you want to get out for a little while. Listen, don't be flying off trying to get out of here, escape or anything, okay? Small steps. We're going to let you out here first. All right, Larry. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Don't be taking off on me now. Okay? Oh, and you're sharing a pin with the tortoise now. Don't be mean to the tortoise. Okay? <laughs> I mean, all he's got to do is pull his head in the shell. Not like you can do anything to him. Larry, dude, that's not where I put you. You're supposed to be over here. Now look at you. RJ, that's not where Larry goes. Bro, what are you doing? Trying to be closer to your honey girl? Hmm? Well, Larry, why don't we, uh, let's just do it. Let's just open the gate. I wasn't going to let him out yet, but... Clearly, he can get over the short fence. Let's see how Larry does as a free-range thunder chicken. Are you a free-range thunder chicken, buddy? Hmm? Me and Larry have been becoming friends. Look, he lets me pet him on the top of the head. All right. There's Freedom. Well, Freedom's actually a donkey around here, but now you're free. Go explore. I don't think you understand. Go. Ready? Go. RJ, teach him. What are you doing? Hmm? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Larry. Come on. Shh, shh, shh. 
Let's go. Go meet the goats. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh, you're going to go show off? You're going to show off for bear? Or Lambert? You showing Lambert your good side? Better watch out, Lambert. Oh! <laughs> hey, you two roosters. Um, I need to introduce you to my new friend. I know you guys like to fight. Apparently today you're getting along. Some days they fight, some days they're friends. Have you guys met Larry? Go say hi. Shake hands. I don't know. Do what turkeys do. Hey, check it out. His head was solid red. Now it's turned to blue and white. You can do that color change thing again. Look how blue it is around his eyes right now. It amazes me how turkeys' heads change colors so fast. You can go say hi to those roosters. You're just showing off for me. I don't think you quite understand how this works, buddy. Are you just trying to talk me into letting Linda out? Are you coming to me or them? I'm confused, bro. It's me, isn't it? Look at those blue eyes. Well, blue around the eyes. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Well, looks like we're going to have to call this one on account of rain. It's not raining a lot, but uh, just got ran away from the barn by the rain. And uh, must be getting really cloudy because the lights are on on the pond. So uh, I'm not going to complain. It's been a great day. We could always use a little bit more rain to help that grass grow. Like, I mean, I know we've got the hot wire set up. It looks really grazed down right here, but this basically thunder. That's because that's where we've mowed, but the donkeys and alpaca still have a lot of grass up in their new hot wire pen. They're all kind of holed up under a tree back here now. So um, it's gonna be a great afternoon. Uh, had to miss out on Houston's field trip today. School's winding down. I was supposed to go to the zoo with him. DJ and I were both going to go to the zoo with Houston, but uh, had some other things come up. Got some guys here working, to, well, some electricians doing some work that I'm not about to touch. And uh, today was the only day that their schedule and mine could match up and work out. But that's all right. I missed it. We do a lot of stuff with Houston. I don't miss out on too much, and I'm very thankful for that. So um, what else? I don't know. We are a strange, weird bird farm now, I guess. A baby buzzard is interesting that is the strangest little bird i think i've ever seen but everyone else is doing fine i didn't, I didn't even show you guys you know houston's new little baby emu there's just not a whole lot to see right now he's hanging out with uh with houston's duck and that that baby turkey and they're all doing fine they're just kind of hanging out doing their thing but anyways guys that's all i've got for today huge thanks to good chop for sponsoring today's video i really appreciate that it makes us it allows us to be able to bring these videos to you and, you know, do all the things and spend all the money and, you know, merch buildings are expensive. Anyways, guys, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.